Good morning, Royals. My name is Jacob Bramer, and this is The Royal Show, where we tell you all about one of your peers. Today, I'm here with Isaiah Heredia. Hi. We're here to get a regal amount of information, and we must make haste. So without any further ado, this is The Royal Show. So Isaiah, let's not waste any time. Tell me about yourself. Uh, well, let's see. I like to think I'm a really, really chill dude. Like to have a lot of fun, you know. Um, I'm always everywhere. I don't like being lazy. I like just really, as long as I got something in my hands for me to do, I will always. What do you, do how do you find yourself like doing that? How do you find yourself like not being lazy? How do you keep yourself like active? Ooh, my biggest thing, ooh, probably in here, especially in here. I'm always, you're always gonna see me running around, always gonna see me with other people. If I'm not with a, someone else, I'm usually doing something. Like, I'm not ever just sitting there. You know, I just like running around, really. Well, that's really admirable. You keep this place running, especially in third period? Oh, absolutely. I hear they call you the number one show host. Well, I've only ever seen you call yourself that. Oh yeah, no, it's just, it's a self-title. Mm. And do you think other people, do you think that's gonna catch on? No. <laughs> But I'm, I'm gonna keep going till it does. All right, well, tell me this, on to our next question. How do you rule each day? Ooh, okay, so if we go by our like whole- Yeah, respectful, RUL, unstoppable, leaders leader, engaged. Yeah, um, always engaged in here, especially. Uh, I like to take a role of leadership, especially in my period. Um, even when I necessarily don't need to, I like to help around, you know, I like helping others, especially with my show producer, Caleb. Love helping him. I help my other groups, especially if they're struggling. If they ever need like a talent or something to be on camera, I'm most likely 90% of the time gonna be there. You sound pretty unstoppable. You know it. <laughs> on to our next question. What is your favorite hobby outside of school? Ooh, okay, so I love hooping. Really? Yeah, basketball. Um, I do it only for fun. Uh, if not that, a lot of times you're gonna see me doing that, though. Uh, With friends or by yourself, or? Uh, you know him, Frederick. A lot of you guys probably don't know him, but um, he's my number one guy. I usually go with him, but if I'm not doing that, I'm usually at home with my birds. Oh, you have birds, awesome. Yeah. That's really, that's really cool. <laughs> what are their names? Uh, Musa and Skippy. Oh, that's really cute. Yeah. Well, let's get on to a bit of a tastier question. Tell me, what's your favorite food? Hands out, fried chicken. Why is that? I just love the consistency, crispiness of it. I love how juicy it is. Um, you know, I stated before, I love birds. Yeah, I, I could tell, yeah. You, you <laughs> go from talking about your birds to talking about fried chicken almost, almost immediately. I can't tell if that's my fault for asking the question or if- It's your order of putting them. But uh, yeah, I just love fried chicken. Okay, now tell me, what are you washing that down with? What's your favorite drink? Sprite. Sprite? That, yeah, that makes a lot of sense <laughs> on you. How does that make sense? You seem like a Sprite guy. I, I'm, I'm not hating, I like Sprite. I, do, I just love the citrus, the lemon-lime flavor. It's a nice flavor, I agree. Except the grape one. <laughs> okay. You ever tried that one? No, I haven't. Not really. You ever tried the cranberry? Absolutely, my sunshine LeBron Sprite James. cranberry is really good. I suggest everyone try Sprite cranberry at least once in their life. It's the thirst thirstiest time of the year. Yep. Well, now that we've gotten through our first couple of questions, we're going to hear a few like short words from our sponsors, so we will be right back. Hey parents, do you want your kids to look this Christmas? 
then buy this Freakazoid and maybe your kids might love you. Well, look, isn't he appealing? Come on, kids, let's check it out. He giggles and wiggles and loves to hide in corners where the shadows bide. But what you see might not be right beneath that grin looks cosmic light. Welcome back everyone, I really hope you enjoyed those words from our sponsors, but now that we've heard those, we're going to hear some words from our interviewee. Welcome Hi. back and let's get on to our very next question. Alright, so tell me, what is your favorite subject? Ooh, no, actually no, I don't know why I acted like it's a hard question. Film. This is the one I'm most engaged in, you're the one you're mostly going to see me around. Yeah. The one you really see me staying on top of everything. Yeah, number one show producer. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, not the moment, but... You know. It's still at heart. Oh, absolutely. Are I you, still, still you, take my role. Are you period three's number one show producer? Oh, maybe. I don't know. We have to fight about it. Mm. You know, we're, we're going to throw a fist about it. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out. Yeah, we, we here in period two. We know who our, we know who our number one show producer is out in the crowd. Did I, did I pay attention to you? Uh, <laughs> we love Mouse. We love Mouse here. Anyway, what's your favorite, what's your favorite teacher? Who's teaching All time you? or currently? Give me both. All right, well, currently... You know, current teacher, Mr. Hall. Of course. He's really opened my eyes on some stuff, especially coming from uh, it, when it comes to college. Oh, yeah. Um, before I was like, no hope. But now I'm like really, really thinking about it more. But all the time, uh, she was actually only a long-term sub. But I had her last year, my music appreciation teacher. Her name was uh, Miss Campania. Hmm. Super chill lady. She was the nicest, sweetest person ever. Loved her. Um, really... She was actually a great teacher, too. I actually learned a lot about music history. That's really, really awesome. Yeah. I feel like having a good teacher like, could really like, help you like, absor like, absorb the material. Absolutely. Like before, uh, before high school, I hated math. I was horrible at it. But then uh, I had a teacher named Mr. Messler, and then I got Mr. Nickter. Oh, Mr. Messler. I, they we, really, we had that class they, together. Yeah, they actually really got me into math, and I actually started to develop a love for it, and I got really good with numbers. Yeah, no, Messler, Messler's teaching style really works. Yeah, I, We love you, Mr. Messler. Yes, yeah, so I just genuinely think that, like, especially if you, it can even be, like, a boring subject. As long as you have a good teacher, exactly. you will learn and you will exactly. really intake the information. Well... We're, we're having a pretty good time with this, but let's move on to another really interesting question. If you could have any superpower at all, what would it be? Time freeze and invisibility. Why? Just because, like, if you really want, like, invisibility especially, to mess with my friends, that'd be the funniest thing. I just oh turn invisible, God, I see them about to sit down, <laughs> pull the chair from under. That's hilarious. Okay, but invisibility doesn't mean you don't make a sound. Oh, I can be light on my feet. I weigh 130, I'll be fine. <laughs> What about time freeze? I mean, I see how time freeze could be useful. Oh, that's just really useful in so many situations. Yeah, I mean... Like, if I'm ever... If I'm, for example, like today, I ran so late to school. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. I'm just going to... Uh, Joyce? I'm just going to freeze time. I'm here. Oh, yeah. I, I sleep in and I walk to school, I will so. never miss a deadline again. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, stuff like that, you know. Uh, really OP powers, you know? Yeah, those are really cool powers. <laughs> All right, so I want to I wanna hear... Tell me something like funny or crazy that's happened to you. Ooh, okay. So actually, a story because I have a bald spot on the left side of my head. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you could see it. It's kind of covered by hair oh, now. Oh, show the camera. Show the camera. It's kind of. I don't know if you could see it. It's somewhere on this side. But anyways, so what happened with that is, um, I had to get staples there back in third grade. Ooh. Right. Okay. So it's really funny how it happened. It wasn't funny at the moment for me, especially because it happened to me. But uh, what happened was I was at a friend's house, right? And they had bunk beds and they had another bed on the side of it, right? So we were jumping off the bunk bed onto the twin size bed at the bottom. Mm -hmm. But it was like three of us were all like eight years old or something. I don't know, we're in third grade. So we had some type of size to us. So it was getting crowded up there. And so I started moving more towards the edge. But I didn't realize because they had a ceiling fan and it was on and spinning. It was on like the highest setting too. So I just completely 
Nick me. They didn't even nick me. It, it like really got me. Dude. <laughs> that explains a lot. <laughs> what? Anyway, before our next break, tell me what's your favorite memory here at Court Hill? I don't know. No, you gotta tell me. Uh, ooh, actually no. My favorite thing was probably when we filmed the 60th anniversary. Oh, the 60th anniversary. That, that was, was really fun. fun to film. Yeah, uh, our little group that we had. Really, and then we got food afterwards. It was so fun. Uh, I really got my hands off with the camera that day too, which was kind of new to me. Um, yeah, it was just a really memorable moment for me, especially because it also got me out of my show. What I normally do with just interviews and being on camera. Yeah. And it well, got me more behind it. It was, yeah, I really like being behind the camera, but also in front of it. Love you guys. Anyway, now that we've talked about that, we're going to move on to our next set of commercials. We're going to hear some words from our sponsors, and we will see you guys soon. Welcome back, Royals. This is going to be the final few questions, so please strap in. It's going to be very fun. Are you ready, Isaiah? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Home stretch. Tell me, what is your favorite animal? Ooh, white cockatoo. That's really unique. It's a bird. Yeah, it's a really cute bird. Well, I know it's a bird. Super funny bird, right? Uh, they act, it's funny, too, because they act kind of dumb, and like, they'll just like shake their head, shake their dreads, you know? Uh, <laughs> and just like scream constantly and it's, I personally find their screams cute. I loved that one white cockatoo from Rio, the movie. Yeah, that was my childhood. Um, that, what was his name, Nigel? I yeah, no his name was Nigel. He was like the OG villain. He was, he was a beautiful, <laughs> he was a beautiful bird. Oh, absolutely. A well, gorgeous white bird. Are beautiful. He was a beautiful, gorgeous bird and then all, one day, Nothing. But yeah, uh, that is like the opposite of a success story. That's like a failure story, and I feel so bad uh, for him. What's it called? Cool thing about cockatoos too is that even though they act kind of dumb, they're so intelligent. Oh yeah. If you actually look at their IQ, they have like the IQ similar to humans, like an eight-year-old child. Did you hear that? Like proportionally, like uh, was it ravens or crows? They're like proportionally, their brains are the same size as ours. Like if we were that size. Really. They're really smart. They recognize faces. That's why you don't mess with them. Okay. <laughs> Well, tell me, what words do you live by? Ooh, okay. My favorite quote, if you don't aim too high, then you aim too low. Hmm. That's actually really good. Yeah, they, uh, it was from uh, J. Cole. That's a, that's a really, really good mindset to have, you know? Yeah, you know, it's just like, it really tells me, like, keep going, you know? Like, don't, don't settle. That's really strong. Yeah. Thank you. How are you, how are you carrying that through your life, though? How are you executing those words? You know, before, I was really just like, whatever. Especially in high school, I would just try to float by. I was always not really putting in any effort, especially grade-wise and work-wise. Uh, even in here, before, I would like, never turn in work on time. But then I started like, really developing better, and I started like, really thinking about my future. I was like thinking, like, wow, I want to have a good future. 
so I should like really put myself more forward. So and you start aim working higher. Myself. Exactly. That's really awesome. Now we're taking that energy. We're carrying that on to the next question. Let's look to the future. What's your dream job? The absolute dream job. I love cinematography. Cinematography. I love camera work. I, I love camera work. Um, you know, really you're in the right place then. <laughs> really, anything to do with film, I would more than love. Um, but the main one would be cinematographer. Well, based well, what kind of what kind of schooling are you looking to do for that? Uh, I actually just applied to CSUN. Me too, CSUN. <laughs> so yeah, I applied so I can join their film program because they have a really a really good one. We actually you remember we took a tour there. Yeah, yeah. I really hope to be your classmate. Yeah, it was a really fun tour. It was really great. I loved it. Um, Campus is beautiful out there. It is really nice, and the weather is So many there. benefits. I see sun, gorgeous. See sun, if you see this, I love you. <laughs> but yeah, and then like, let's say for example, if I don't get accepted, I will most likely either go to ABC or College of the Canyons, mm -hmm. go there for my two years, then hopefully transfer and go to CSUN. I think College of the Canyons is a really good choice because it allows you to like kind of get out of the valley, you know, learn yeah. how to be, learn how to be independent by yourself so that you can like learn how to be an adult, learn how to survive on your own. I think it's really important that like we as people like learn how to be independent so that we can move on with our lives. Exactly. Well, <laughs> let's move on from that. Uh, tell me, what's your favorite like movie or TV show? <sighs> movie? The Dark Knight. The Dark Knight? Growing up, I've always been a Batman fan. I've always loved superheroes, you know. Batman was always my number one. And then I always loved uh, the Joker as well. So seeing that the Dark Knight, especially played by Heath Ledger and his way of portraying him, I thought was really, really well. R.I.P. Yeah. Uh, there was actually a Halloween I dressed up as Heath Ledger's Joker. Oh, I think I remember that. Yeah, it was in middle school. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't that great, but it was something. <laughs> but yeah, it's just like Dark Knight. Uh, I love that whole one with the Christian Bale Batman that whole series, Batman Begins, Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises, all of them are really great movies. Oh, that sounds really, really cool. Yeah. Now, let's get on to our very last question of the day. Finally. Oh, do you want last but not least. TV show, though? Oh, oh yeah, wait, tell <laughs> me the TV show. <laughs> um, TV show, it's actually an anime. Uh, oh. Kuroko's Basketball. Never heard. It's, it's about basketball, it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. But yeah, I just really like that show. It you really, like sports animes? Oh yeah, it oh, really yeah. got me into it. Really got me back into playing basketball too. Because like at that point, I was like, whatever, I'm done with it. I'm gonna chill in bed. But then it got me like kind of out there again. It's kind of it's kind of like when high makes you like like you start spiking balls and stuff. Oh yeah, you know? I, I I had that phase. Sure, those basketball made me start thinking I, I can dunk, and that. then I tried, and then I kind of hurt my ankle. But <laughs> you're like you're like this tall, something like that. Well. Five four, but whatever. <laughs> Let's oh, okay. So like small. Small, but packs like, a punch. Like, what? Where's the punch? Anyway, finally, let's go on to our last question for real this time. How are you going to get out there into the world today and show them that you're a royal? Ooh, okay. So if we're talking about like especially today, uh, I'm gonna definitely hold my period. Get our new show up and running. Heck yeah. Uh, uh, our show leftovers, especially it airs. Next week, it will be airing next week. Oh yeah, shameless plug. Today. Oh, absolutely. I'm gonna, I'm going to plug this one. Um, it's kind of like, it's kind of like the show in a way with the whole interview style, except uh, we have our own little table. We get our own thing of food. That's why it's called leftovers because we also have another show called Taste Buds where they're gonna be cooking the food. They're gonna show you how, and then we get to eat it. Hmm? Yeah, we have like, and we have like a little trivia at the end. It's like, oh, I asked them about whatever their niche is on why I bring them up. Like for example, I'm bringing up uh, Brandon Bradshaw for script writing. So I'm gonna ask him some stuff about film and you know, screenwriting and stuff like that. Uh, if he gets it wrong, he has to take a certain amount of hot sauce. If he gets it right, I have to take it. So hot ones? No. <laughs> so not hot ones? Not hot ones. It has a little bit of element. Well, cause I really love the hot ones show. It is a really good show. Yeah. Have you seen the Patti Lapone and uh, Audrey Plaza? No, but Audrey I watched Plaza. the Conan O'Brien one. Mm. And I love that one. Very, very awesome. Well, I, don't, I just want to say right now, Isaiah, thank you so much for coming out, being on yeah, the show. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate you uh, coming out here. Begging to come well, on here so. Is there anything else you'd like to say before we wrap things up? <sighs> Skibbity, thank you yeah, so okay. much for being <laughs> here. Well, there you have it, guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Well, uh, oh, not yet. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out, Royals. We love you. Now make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time on The Royal Show. Royal Show. Yeah, Royal Show. <laughs>